Welcome back guys, my name is Sam and today we're here at the Summit Hydraulics headquarters again and today we're going to be doing a teardown of our DV50 valve. Before we get started, this is some of the supplies you're going to need for today's video. We recommend a 24mm uh, wrench along with the crescent wrench, um, a smaller screwdriver along with a bigger screwdriver as well. Alright, so getting started into this teardown. Obviously, before doing the teardown, I recommend doing a manual override on this particular valve. So to do so, to do a manual override, if this particular valve is not actuating via solenoid control via switch, you're gonna to wanna to do the manual override. So to do so, you wanna get like a small screwdriver and push on this little indented piece. Usually it's raised up, but when it's raised up, you push it all the way down and you should, you should feel some kind of a spring tension a little bit when doing so and it moves down to probably about an eighth of an inch and that would uh, manually you know move the internal spool of this particular valve if not actuated by the solenoid all right so first off we're going to want to remove this plastic nut that we have here fastening the coil on so once we remove that then under that you have the o-ring this particular o-ring is mainly for vibration so we move that off to the side, and then from there we can slide the whole entire coil off. Perfect. So from there we're gonna to wanna to flip the valve over and then undo this, this nut here with our 24 millimeter wrench. And you're gonna to wanna to hold it upwards because the spring here is gonna to wanna to come out too as well. So here now you have the spring and the bottom piece and then from there you have a little washer and then usually sometimes it'll fall out but um, we can push it out from this side. So from there we're going to want to remove the whole stem just like that. Right, and then also we're probably going to want to hold this up too, just like this because the magnetic rod is also going to want to fall out. So from there, we have our stem pulled out and then we also have our magnetic piece. And this piece is what moves back and forth when engaging the solenoid with your switch. So obviously if that was stuck in there with, you know, gunked up hydraulic fluid, that could be a, a great indication of why your valve's not, you know, wanting to actuate. So we'll move that off to the side. And then from there, you can push this whole spool. Sometimes you can use your finger or even a screwdriver. And then from there, you get your little washer that comes out that was placed here. And then that'll allow you to pull out your entire spool on the valve. So some things to look at for uh, tearing apart this valve. Obviously you have your valleys and you have your peaks on the spool. So the valleys are gonna be a little bit more dull from machining, which is okay. And then you have your peaks. Your peaks are gonna be, you know, are gonna be, make sure that you're gonna want these to be polished just like how they look here. So if you see any dinks or any imperfections or any nicks like that, uh, as far as con from contamination, then that is not good. And that could be mean meaning that you need a new spool for your valve. So moving along there, everything looks great. We'll move that off to the side. Now we're gonna look into the valve. The valve should be uh, looking clean as well. Um, same thing, there's polished pieces in there, obviously where the valve, you know, of the, of the spool that moves back and forth, that should also be looking nice and smooth as well, no nicks or dinks. Um, from there, you're gonna to wanna, to, you know, spray it out maybe with some compressed air or run some brake, uh, brake clean through there as well. Obviously, you don't wanna get any on your O-rings, That'll dry them out, obviously. All right, so moving on from there, we'll get back into the, the breakdown of putting this back together. So just like how we put it together, or took it apart, we're gonna put it back together, starting out with the internal spool. So we can put that washer back on. Slide it back in there. And I would recommend putting some um, hydraulic fluid on there um, obviously this valve is already oily as it is, so good there for now. 
All right, so we can flip it over, get this piece right here with the spring. Set that in there. We're gonna, oops, probably should pull that upside down. So once we got that nice and snug on there, we'll use our wrench to cinch that back on. Perfect. All right. So moving on from there, now we're gonna put our post back on. So you have that little magnetic piece. Obviously you wanna make sure that's placed on there fine. I would hold that up at, at an angle while threading on. So once that's nice and seated and bottomed out, Put your wrench on there and I wouldn't recommend um, you know cranking it down too hard but obviously you want it to be nice and snug on there as well same goes for this nut obviously we're not going to put it in the vise in the video but you get the point so going on from there now we can put on our solenoid coil and this particular coil can be put on both ways depending on how you want it orientated with the DIN connector and then from there, you're gonna to wanna to put on your vibration O-ring and then your fastener cap as well. And that is it. That is how you tear apart the DB50 valve along with putting it back together. Obviously, we recommend doing the manual override first before any of the teardown is uh, conducted, obviously, to ensure you, know, you don't wanna waste your time do the do the manual override first. Thank you for tuning in with us today on tearing apart this DV50 valve. If you have any questions, remember to reach out to contact at summit-hydraulics.com for any questions on uh, any troubleshooting or any uh, product tips. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe and drop any comments below of any uh, products you would like us to review in the future.